And uh, when I was five years old, he was stationed in Greece. So uh, I went to visit him with my mom and my brother. And I have this distinct memory of sitting on the shore. And I'm watching my dad. He was a diver. And he goes out in his boat. And he's got his Navy diver buddies with him. And we're watching him. And uh, there's one guy who's down in the water. And they're talking to him over the walkie-talkie. And so he's down there. And he's giving him a little uh, sit rep on what's going on. And he says, uh, just want to let you guys know that uh, there's an octopus down here. And the guys in the boat are like, all right, just leave the octopus alone. Like, right. do what you got to do. And he's like, yeah, I would, except uh, it's kind of starting to wrap its tentacle around my leg. And they're saying, okay, just push his giant head away from your body and try and swim away. <laughs> and he's like, okay. So they hear a little bit more struggle over the microphone. He's like, guys, th this octopus is really going for me now. It's all the way on, on to my leg. It's like, its head is on my hip area. And so they said, dude, you just got to get your knife and cut this octopus off of you. So they hear more struggling over the, uh, the walkie-talkie. And there's this pause, and they say, dude, what's going on? And he says, so, so guys, the octopus has my knife. <laughs> uh, also, my wallet fell out, and he has my ID card. <laughs> so uh, they pull the guy out of the boat, out of the water. They pull him out of the water, and the octopus is on top of him. They throw him on the boat, pull the octopus off of him. And so the octopus is on one side of the boat, six fully grown buff Navy divers on the other side, terrified of this thing, with a knife in one hand, ID card in the other, like, <laughs> like, bring it, I'll take it with six arms behind my back, I got this, let's go! And I'm five years old watching this on the sidelines, this is like a complete traumatizing experience for me. When I see it now in my mind's eye, the octopus has like a bandana and a teardrop eye tattoo. He goes to a bar, he's like, steals the guy's identity on the way out, no. But uh, it was delicious, actually. We, we killed the octopus and ate it. So, <laughs> happy ending to that story. Uh, my dad was a, a commander in the Navy. Um, and you know it affected me in more ways than one. Uh, like when I was eight years old, uh, he helped me come to terms with my own mortality. Uh, <laughs> it's a true story. I shared, I shared a room with my older brother when I was eight years old. And uh, I would have nightmares. And I'd wake up in the middle of the night and turn to my older brother. In the dark, you know, you have those conversations with your ceiling when you share a room with somebody. And I'd say, like, Steve, I, I had a nightmare. I'm really scared. My brother would, I could hear him roll his eyes. You know how you can hear that in the dark? <laughs> like, ah, Zach, go back to bed. Like, stop being a baby. And I'd say, Steve, I'm really scared. I'm really, like, I, I had a really bad nightmare. And so he comes up with a solution. He goes, okay, we'll play rock, paper, scissors in the dark. If you win, I'll help you with your nightmare. If I win, you gotta go back to bed. Okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. What did you do? I did paper. Well, I did scissors. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, my, my brother was on a, on a sleepover uh, this one particular night, and so I called out to my dad. I did that, that uh, thing eight-year-olds do. The dads in the audience are gonna hate this noise. It's, Dad! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Finally, my dad comes in like, oh, What's the problem, buddy? And I said, Dad, I'm scared. I'm afraid of Darth Vader and Smeagol from Lord of the Rings and Chuck E. Cheese, which is a different traumatizing story that I'm not going to get into today. But I was afraid of Chuck E. Cheese. So my dad turns on the lights, and he opens up the closet, helps me check under the bed, and he says, Zach, there's no, nothing to be worried about. There's no monsters here. And I said, Dad, I'm still scared. So my dad turns out the lights, and he closes the closet door, and he kneels down next to my bed, and he says, Zach, if... Darth Vader, or Smeagol, or Chuck E. Cheese is in your closet. There is nothing I can do. To <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, he said this. Darth Vader will carve you like a knife before I have my bunny slippers on, okay? <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese will go straight for the ear. Great. But, this is how he finishes it, but if Darth Vader, or Smeagol, or Mickey Mouse. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck e. It does matter. It does matter, Zach. It does. <laughs> is in your closet, then you are going to die, and you're going to go to heaven and be with Jesus. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Thanks so much. Really appreciate it.